So this is a quick video about using numbers with um, voiceover. Um, so we're going to use our keyboard here too and open up numbers. Um, so what I've learned to do on numbers is make a basic table. And why this is helpful is because um, making tables in pages is not very voiceover friendly, I have found, but making a table in numbers works pretty well. Um, there's there's still a lot of things in numbers, it seems like it's hard to do with voiceover, but, um, but we're going to, I want to, I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, they have all kinds of templates in numbers, we're just going to, um, use the the very first Just one heading. the blank basic heading. so in basic okay. we're gonna do we're gonna use this do this blank one we're gonna do a new one um and so as you can see like in um excel there are these um cells and voiceover will read them to you so um you can use your, your back arrow to move around. Um, and it tells you what column and what row you're in. So that's helpful. Um, you can also use your finger here. So this is column A. Empty cell. Empty cell. Empty cell. Co column B. Select row three. Empty cell. Row four. Empty it's cell. It's telling you the rows. Row five, See. Empty, row six. Empty cell. Row, row four. Empty cell. Row three. Selected. Selection take column C. Row two. Column empty, row C. Row empty two. Cell, row four. Empty cell. So row that's row kind of empty, helpful. Empty, and um, empty cell. using the arrow key, column D. Empty cell. Column e. empty it cell. will tell you column what M. row. Um, let's see. Um, one thing it doesn't do is you can't go down the cell, although when you're working in your table, um, you can. So let's see, you have to, um, you can use your, your up and down key keys together to, um, and then you can put your text in, um, and you can also put numbers in. So, um, so if I wanted to make a table um, and say we're we're talking about um, um, fee, oh, let's see, quick math. And then, okay, so um, we've done that, so now we need to use our up and down arrow keys, or here, the done key will, um, will get you out of there. Um, and... So, let's see now, it's not talking to me, so. Table, selection tape, selected, column A, favorite kind of music. Selection tape, column B, favorite kind of music. Selection tape, selected, column A, so favorite kind of music. So, if you're in there, then favorite if you use your enter key, it'll take you down to the next row, but delete will not get you back up, so you need to um, Empty cell. use your touch. Empty cell. So, and then double tapping there. Um, so we can put in um, con country. And then um, up and down arrow, your, your, uh, oh, that's not working, is it? But you can do enter to get into the next one. So um, let's say jazz. So say your kid um, is. 
doing a survey um, of the favorite kind of music of the kids in the class um, and writing down the numbers. So country, jazz, let's say rock. Um, and um, hip hop. And um, what else do we have? We'll just leave it there. And then, so if we go, if we put quip nav back on, it will, it will move us around. So So I'm using my three finger scroll to get back up to the top of the of the table and um, so let's see if um, so let's favorite kind, of music. favorite kind of music double tap on that kind of one music. and then let's see if it'll go there favorite so then we can say okay then we want to do country double tap on country and then use your arrow key to say seven kids um, and then enter and so it doesn't say it um, okay so we'll say six and then we'll do enter and um, rock will do 12. And hip hop will say 10. That's a lot of kids in the class. <laughs> um, and so you can also um, You can also put formulas in. Oh, so that's kind of interesting. Oops, where did it go? So they have this thing here too, where you can put in, like, um, put in dates. Anyway, and then they do have the undo button. And take that away. Um, One thing, so you can um, make a title for your table up here. Um, of course, quick nav has to be off. Survey. But here where it says table one, you can't actually do that with voiceover. You change the table and, and I'll show you if you turn voiceover off. Um, you actually can 
change what it says up there by touching. So, um, your low vision kids may be able to do that, but um, when voiceover is on, you can't do it. So, you can. And then maybe turn voiceover back on. Then, then it comes. Let's get rid of that. And. Um, we'll put up here, we'll put the number. So there are a lot of things you can do with numbers, of course, um, if you can touch and drag and without voiceover on, but it's, um, it's, it's still pretty limited with voiceover as far as I can tell. Um, but you can make a simple table in, um, in numbers. And you can also um, you can also send it to Dropbox or um creating spreadsheet alert no apps available okay button empty sound um so you can put it in dropbox and that's my video